Have you ever wondered about the unusual traditions that remain hidden in the corners of the world? Welcome to a journey that will take us to the heart of Eastern Europe, specifically to Bulgaria, a country rich in history, culture, and traditions. Today we explore one of the most intriguing and less known of them all, Bulgaria's Bride Markets. The Bride Markets are a centuries-old tradition, deeply entrenched in the Roma community of Bulgaria. They are a unique spectacle, where young virgins are showcased by their families with the hope of securing a suitable husband. This tradition, as peculiar as it may sound to many of us, is deeply significant to them. It's a rite of passage, a celebration of their culture and heritage that has been passed down through generations. This event takes place several times a year, with the most significant one happening on the Feast of St. Todor, or Horse Easter, in the village of Mogila, near Stara Zagora. On this day, the community comes alive with vibrant colors, music, and dance, as families gather with the hope of finding a match for their daughters. The bride market is more than just a matrimonial event. It's a social gathering that reinforces community bonds and cultural identity. It's a marketplace of traditions where the Roma community displays their customs, their music, and their way of life. However, it's not just about preserving traditions. The bride market also plays a crucial role in the economic aspect of the community. Families invest a lot in this event, with the hope of securing a better future for their daughters. The higher the price a groom is willing to pay for his bride, the more prestigious it is considered for the girl's family. However, as we delve deeper into the workings of these markets, we also come across several complexities and contradictions. The event, while culturally significant, also raises questions about gender roles, societal norms, and the fine line between tradition and exploitation. A fascinating yet controversial cultural practice, the bride markets of Bulgaria bring us face to face with the question of cultural preservation versus societal evolution. What exactly happens in these bride markets? Let's delve into the process. In the heart of Bulgaria, a tradition dating back centuries unfolds. Young girls dressed in their finest attire are presented to potential suitors at these bride markets. But it's more than just a pageant, it's a deeply rooted cultural practice with its unique set of rules and rituals. To start, families prepare their daughters for the market. This preparation is meticulous and can take months. It involves not just physical grooming but also lessons on traditional Bulgarian customs and values. The aim is to present these young women as desirable brides who can uphold the family's honor and traditions. On the day of the event, the girls accompanied by their families arrive at the market. They are dressed in vibrant traditional attire reflecting their culture and heritage. Each family has a stall where the girls are displayed, much like a showcase. Now the negotiation process begins. It's a delicate dance between the families of the girls and the potential suitors. The suitor's family must demonstrate their ability to provide for the bride, while the girl's family evaluates the suitor's character and potential as a husband. It's important to understand that this is not a mere transaction. The negotiation process is a dialogue, a means of assessing compatibility and establishing a mutual understanding between the two families. It's a process steeped in tradition, respect, and a shared desire for the girl's well-being. Once an agreement is reached, a symbolic exchange takes place. This could be in the form of a dowry or a symbolic token like a handkerchief. It's not about the value of the item but the promise it represents. A promise of a new life, a new family, and a commitment to uphold the traditions of their ancestors. A complex web of traditions and negotiations, the bride market is a highly orchestrated event. But what of the young girls at the center of this tradition? What are their stories? Let's delve into the world of these young girls, whose lives are intertwined with a tradition that dates back centuries. Each girl has a unique tale, filled with dreams, hopes, and the inevitable challenges that come with growing up in a society steeped in tradition. Take for instance Ani, a vibrant 15-year-old whose eyes sparkle with dreams of becoming a teacher. She loves learning, and yearns to pass on her knowledge to future generations, yet the looming bride market puts a question mark on her aspirations. Ani is not alone in this struggle. There are countless others like her, their dreams fluttering like fragile wings against the iron-clad bars of tradition. Then there's Maria, a 17-year-old who has seen her elder sisters go through the bride market. Maria is a quiet observer, the anticipation and anxiety of the market casting a shadow over her usually joyful spirit. She finds herself torn between respecting her family's traditions and her own desire for freedom of choice. 
And we cannot forget about Elena, a resilient young girl who, despite the societal pressure, stands firm on her decision to break away from the tradition. Her story is a testament to the strength and defiance that lives within these young hearts. The emotions of these girls are as diverse as their personalities, hope, fear, excitement, reluctance, defiance. They navigate a tightrope walk between respecting the traditions passed down generations and carving out their own paths. It's essential to remember that these stories aren't just anecdotes. They are the lived experiences of real young girls. They highlight the emotional and psychological impact of the bride market, a tradition that, for many, is a non-negotiable part of their lives. The societal pressures these girls face are immense. The weight of tradition often overshadows their individual desires, painting a complex picture of their lives. Yet, amidst all this, they continue to dream, aspire, and fight, each in their own way. The stories of these girls provide a human face to the bride market reminding us of the personal impact of such traditions. Such a practice is bound to stir controversy. What are the debates surrounding the bride markets? The bride markets of Bulgaria, an age-old tradition deeply entrenched within the Roma community, has in recent years come under intense scrutiny. This cultural phenomenon, while seen by some as an integral part of their heritage, raises serious questions pertaining to human rights and women's rights. At the forefront of the controversy is the issue of consent. The young girls, often barely teenagers, are brought to the market to be inspected and chosen by potential suitors, often older men. Critics argue that these girls are too young to make such life-altering decisions, and that they are often coerced into these marriages due to societal and familial pressures. Then there's the question of commodification. The practice of selling brides, critics argue, reduces these young girls to mere commodities to be bought and sold. This, they contend, is a gross violation of their human rights and dignity. Yet, the story isn't as black and white as it seems. Within the Roma community itself, there is a divide. Some see the bride markets as a celebration of their culture and traditions, a way of preserving their identity in a rapidly modernizing world. They argue that the markets provide a platform for arranged marriages, a common practice in many cultures worldwide. Others within the community, however, are pushing for change. They argue that traditions should not come at the expense of human rights, and that there are ways to preserve their culture without resorting to such practices. They advocate for education and empowerment of their young girls, giving them the choice to decide their own futures. The controversy surrounding the bride markets is a mirror of the greater societal struggle between respecting cultural traditions and upholding human rights. It's a delicate balance, one that requires thoughtful conversation, understanding, and ultimately, change. The bride markets are a battleground for cultural preservation and human rights, a complex issue with no easy answers. What does the future hold for the bride markets? Is change on the horizon? As we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, the fate of the bride markets in Bulgaria remains shrouded in uncertainty. Yet, amidst this ambiguity, glimmers of hope and progress are visible. A growing number of voices are rising against the tide of tradition. Advocates and activists, both within and outside Bulgaria, are striving to bring about change. They're challenging the status quo, questioning the ethics of this age-old practice, and calling for the empowerment and protection of the young girls at the heart of this system. The winds of change are not just blowing from the outside. Within the communities themselves, there is a stirring of reform. Some families are choosing to break the cycle, valuing their daughter's education and personal growth over the bride price that their youth and virginity might fetch. Education is indeed a powerful tool in this struggle. As more and more girls gain access to education, they're equipped with the knowledge and confidence to challenge societal norms. They're beginning to understand their rights, their worth, and the vast potential that lies within them. The internet and social media are also playing a significant role in this shift. Stories and experiences are being shared, awareness is being spread far and wide. The world is watching, and the pressure for change is mounting, yet the path to change is fraught with obstacles. Tradition is deeply rooted, and resistance to change is strong. The balance between respecting cultural practices and advocating for human rights is delicate and complex. But with continued effort and dialogue, there is hope that a more equitable future can be forged. The future of the bride markets is uncertain, but one thing is clear. The voices of the young girls at its center must be heard. Their dreams, their choices, their lives matter. 
As we navigate the complexities of tradition and modernity, let us not lose sight of the individuals at the heart of this narrative. Their voices are the key to understanding, to empathy, and ultimately to change.